everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do a quick tour around my craft room. So I posted some photos of a kind of, not quite a remodeling, but I had a really good sort out reorganization, moving around furniture, moved some furniture from downstairs to upstairs. So there's been a few changes in my room. So I thought I'd give a little tour as it's been probably over two years since I did a last craft room tour and it's changed a lot since then. Um, so let's get started. I'm just going to... Okay, so let's start from over here. And here I've got um, this I've had for a long time. Um, there's just a, a, a tall drawer, chest of drawers, and I keep various things in here. So in here I've got some old card making stuff, envelopes, we've got some cards in there. I keep a big roll of um, like kitchen towel in here for when I'm painting and stuff. And down here I've got some Clark's wipes and things like that which I use. And then in various drawers I've got the plastic. These are my card making days. <laughs> they come in handy when I'm trying to sort out small scraps of collage paper. Um, then up here, um, this is just a, a wooden tray I've got, but this one, this box here and this box, these are going to be boxes or are boxes that I keep scraps of paper that I want to use in my daily sort of journaling. So um, when I sit down to journal, I grab this box and there's a variety of stuff in there that I can, that I can choose from. Um, in here I've got some just journaling cards that I've either made or cut up at some point or some of them have even been sent by pen pals so I've, I keep those in there and I've got some rubber stamps in here. This was um, a, a guest bedroom so here um, the wardrobe is, I'm just going to zoom out again, is kind of been converted to storage. So um, I took the rail out of the top and bought an IKEA um, shelving unit which fitted perfectly inside. So now it has a variety of boxes and these mini drawers I got from Dezo are fantastic. They stack on top of each other and it just so happened that three, that three sets of them stack nicely in, in one of the shelving shelves and um, yeah I label the front and I keep uh, various scraps so in here we've got cutouts um, stickers floral so you can see in there so those are really handy and in each of these boxes I kind of group together similar um, pieces of or bits of material so in here we've got lots of chalk paint we've got fabric in the back there these are all pieces of leather, which I got from my journal, making journals, all my punching equipment and stuff. We've got bits and bobs in there. Um, oh, what else have we got? Lots of things. We've got our um, silk, silk ribbons in there. I've got all my glues and fixatives um, in there. I can't remember what I have in there. But anyway, so I keep various things in, in different size of boxes. Here again, I've got a basket of, um, these are old vintage bits of paper and scraps, um, and other bits of ephemera which I've put into little plastic envelopes and put in there. So I have a lot of different stashes of that kind of thing. And I've got, I've had that for years, way back when I used to do the scrapbooking. I bought this for the 12 by 12 scrapbooking papers and they come in really handy because now and again I do buy um, one of those books, especially the um, the, Jim Holt, the Tim Holt ones. So they uh, live in there, the 12 by 12s. My sewing machine and my um, DIY kits at the bottom there. And then this is my craft or art um, desk. Um, it's again, it's all IKEA units. And I covered the, the top of the desk with um, some sticky back um, vinyl um, in kind of a wood effect, which again, I got from Dezo, so it was really, really cheap. So as soon as this gets spoiled and ruined, I can just take it off and recover it. So, um, so that's quite a good thing. I've got a little note, um, a note board above my desk, which has 
Helen's Journal with Purpose prompts for the month and some things I need to sort out. Then um, I tend to try and keep my desk fairly clear, um, although when I'm working it's just an absolute bomb site. Um, so at the moment I've got some books that I'm looking at. Um, I'm looking, trying out a lot more mixed media art journaling, some fonts and hand lettering with Helen. So those are the books I'm sort of looking for inspiration through at the moment. And I'm also, I've made a few more purchases of, of um, art journaling stuff. I've got um, a, a distressed texture paste here some um, modelling paste, we've got um, some crackle texture paste and some paper paper effect paste so I'm going to be having a play around with those. Um, up here we've got, I've got two, these are baskets also from Ikea and they fit perfectly in the Kallax storage system um, and I've got in here, I've labelled all my baskets so I know exactly what's in them so before I start on a project I'll go through the baskets just to see what Kind of things I want to use. So in here I've got paint and inks and in, in here are different boxes again which I've bought storage boxes with. They've got compartments and I put all my distress inks, my fountain pen inks, my pens, my pencils, my acrylic paints, from the big, my big tubes of acrylic paints from the bottom. Here, uh, I won't pull this out, but it's got uh, boxes of washi tapes and boxes of rubber stamps. Um, up here I've got my, all my watercolour brushes and my texture brushes and um, one of my paint um, Panzer paints here so I can just quickly grab it with obviously a couple of jars for water and mixing trays. Then I, again, this, this box from Ikea again, it's not, this is not an ad for Ikea, uh, I just love the furniture uh, because it's so, it's so practical. <clears throat> um, but I have, um, this again sits perfectly within the Calax shelf and it houses all my um, journals that I'm currently having. Gosh, I've realised how many I have. Um, <clears throat> this um, butterfly design that I put on the wall, um, I actually saw this in a show home that we went to visit when we were in the US. We were thinking of buying a house there and we looked at various show homes and this was in one of the bedrooms and I just loved it. So I took a picture and I said, one day I'm going to put that on my wall. And, um, and, and then a few months later, I actually found these butterflies. I don't actually remember where I found them or where I got them from. But I thought, yes, I'm going to buy those because one day I'm going to do that. And that finally, I managed to, to do it. Then, of course, here we've, um, we've got the, the brilliant um, trolley, again, by Ikea. Um, I think it's called Raskog or Roscog. Um, and this is really handy. It's got all my pens, the things that I use quite really regularly. So it's got all my um, distress inks that I use regularly with the pads. It's got little bits and pieces, glue, bits of ink. My um, gelatos are in here, some pens. Um, down here we've got my scissors and stuff like that. And then I've also got in here um, these wooden trays that I bought again from Daiso, so they were really cheap. And what I've been doing, um, which is I, I found has been really useful, is I'll put different things in there. So one's got all sticker sheets in there, one has bits of paper, one has really nice pieces that I really want to use in my journals, but I keep forgetting to use them, so I put them separately in another tray and things like that. So I'm and, and then other ones have um, just odd bits and pieces that tend to get lost if they're just chucked into a big box of stuff. So um, I tend to, again, when I'm, when I'm working on a journal collage or whatever, I'll grab a couple of these trays and have a flick through them. So they're, they're kind of really handy. And then over here, we've got the, where my printer sits. Again, this, the, all this furniture is from Ikea. Um, this little handy little drawer thing has little bits and pieces, got some old cards that I made and little bits, I need to sort this out, but it's, it's quite handy to have these little drawers to put stuff in. Um, a nice little wooden box. Um, that's my, my map of world domination, where my travel map, <laughs> which I still, need to, I still need to add a few places on there. And then we've got um, the dog bed, of course. Um, I think there's a cat in here. Hello. And then this is my workstation. 
uh, this is where I do my day job. Um, so I'm um, executive director from uh, a group of international marketing agencies. So this is where I uh, work from. Um, I have double screens because I do quite a lot of creative design stuff and also um, a lot of video conferencing, that kind of thing. Um, the shelves above in my little rejig of furniture and reorganizing. I used to have this as a storage shelf, so I used to have magazine boxes on there, but I felt I wanted somewhere just to display some nice pieces that I have tended not to be on display before. So I've got a few little bits and pieces on there. Um, and I've also printed out a couple of lovely vintage prints that I got online and put those in some frames and added them up there. So this is my probably my biggest piece of organization furniture. Again, it's a Kallax Ikea. Um, it's actually two pieces. So the, the, the top piece there of, of the four that you see is one piece of furniture. And then this one is a second piece. So this has got obviously all the drawers and cupboards in it and then I've got baskets and various other things. So these also are from Ikea and they are made to fit into the Calax system so it's quite work quite handy so it just gives you that extra little bit of drawer space um, to, to fit into the system itself. So oh, wow I don't know whether I should go through I'll go through them very quickly. This box bits and bobs things that I'm not quite sure where to put them We've got junk journal treasure here and this is basically if I've found a book or a magazine or any bits and pieces that I want to use in my junk journals or to make junk journals, I tend to throw that in, in there. We've got colour pencils and pens and these are all in their original either tray boxes or I've put them into plastic storage boxes. We've got ribbons and feathers here and I bought again these look great jars from Ikea and I fill them with different coloured ribbons so each jar's got a sort of different colour theme to it if you like um, and I've also got a couple of jars there full of sort of colourful feathers. A lot of this stuff is from my card making days. Glue gun stuff so I've got a couple of glue guns and uh, glue rods in there. Um, all my creative magazines that I buy I've just actually subscribed to Art Journal magazine so I suspect they're going to end up um, being stored in there as well. And then I've got various um, magazine boxes where I, this a lot of this stuff is for my journaling and making journals. So I've got journal page sheets, book cover, board and card, ephemera for cutting. So these are bits, these are things that I've printed but I haven't got around to cut them out. We've got tea dyed paper that I've already tea dyed paper that I'm keeping for tea dyeing, which I haven't tea dyed yet. And then I've got book lining. So these are again, papers that I've collected and printed out over the, over some time and um, that I use for the book, for the journal book linings. Um, and I put them there. And then this box here is for beads and jewelry. So I tend to put things that I don't use as much higher up because they're more difficult to get out. Um, and those things that I use quite often, I put lower down. So in here, I've got all my threads and little bits of lace in there. Um, my, all my watercolour books are in there. Um, these are pens, pencils, spare bits of, state of pens and things. I've got a mixture of stuff in here, a lot of handmade papers and things like that. Um, here's again my glue, my um, print sticks, my double-sided tape that kind of thing here i've got my die cutting tools uh, lots of different shapes in there again this is a bit of a an odds and bits and bobs drawer and these are all um oh i'd show you these these i love old tins whenever i'm going around flea markets or bacants in france i tend to be, this is actually my grandmother's it's an original emergency ration tin and I now keep I don't know if I can do this with so these are these lovely tins that I've collected and I keep some um, uh, pins in that one and in this one I got some Tim Holtz uh, book plates in that one which I've got on the front of my journal so I love these boxes so I'll put those back later so I think the only cupboard left is this one over here 
which um, is a, again part of my wardrobe so um, this has shelves in it so I've just used that to put some all my old um, antique vintage books I've got lots of these I bought from Brookhants and flea markets um, mainly in Europe so I've got music sheets I've got just old um, book covers I want to use reuse the book covers as well at some point um, but I've got quite a few in those so I keep those in the dark so it just preserves them a little bit more they are quite fragile already um, and then here I've got this is quite a nifty thing I bought from a hardware store um, and it just hooks onto the shelf but then gives you um, a little sort of shelf underneath so that's that's quite good for sort of adding some storage space and then these are just stationary um, boxes you know with little drawers paper drawers so I keep my papers in there and I've labeled them I've got my craft paper metallic papers and then I've got another one down here which I've done the same um, I've got a couple of things in here which um, I'd like to show you. These are my clear rubber stamps and this is a great uh, folder that I bought. It's a purpose-made folder for rubber stamps, the clear, the, clear, um, the clear ones. And you buy these packets, um, these sleeves, and I've cut up each of the things. I've actually made a little, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, I, I bought some sheets of, um, you know, the overhead projector plastic. So I bought some sheets of that and then I made these little sort of folder things, which I put my stamps in. That keeps them sort of clean and protected. And then they slot into these pockets in this folder. And then it's just so I can see what I've got in here, I then include, again, a plain plastic pocket and I stamp each of the stamps so I can immediately see what, what is in those pockets to the left. So that's what I've got running all the way through. So those stamps are there and I've got a whole packet of them. In fact, I've still got a few of the rubber stamps um, in a drawer, so I need to buy another one of these folders because this one's quite full um, now. So that's a great little organization um, piece that I, I got. And then the other quite nifty one, I've got some of these folders here which have ephemera sheets and things like that in them. Um, but this one I particularly like. Um, this I saw, it was an idea that I saw on someone else's, I think, Instagram or Pinterest. And this is a, I bought this in the, I ordered it from the UK and it is a um, book for keeping, collecting, you know, stamp collectors, money collectors by these. And they've got these sort of glassine sheets in between each of the pages. And then the pages have got little pockets, little glycine um, strips running all the way across, like pockets. So that is fantastic for uh, storing your little cutout ephemeras. So rather than having them, you know, just loose in a drawer in a box where you tend to not be able to find them, here I can just browse through this album and see exactly what I've got. So that was a great find as well. Um, and I've, I've really, um, that, that's really made a difference in terms of using um, the bits of ephemera that I have um, and not forgetting to use them because they're just hidden away um, in a pile somewhere. Um, so I think in, in terms of other storage organization ideas, I think that's probably it for that cupboard. So that is my, um, that is my uh, craft and office. Thank you very much for joining me.